Hey everyone, welcome back to I Totally Love It. This is Susan. In this video, I'm going to share with you some things that I found in a thrift store and a couple things I purchased off Etsy. Um, so we'll start with my Etsy purchases. Uh, my scrap cabin uh, on Etsy sells uh, dyed seam binding and it's, you know, it's crinkled. I love that. And uh, Last time I bought four and I got a freebie. This time I bought four and I got a freebie. I think she sends a freebie with each one. And she remembers if you have purchased before because she sent me a coupon code um, for my repeat business. Uh, so let me share with you what colors I purchased this time. So this time I got more um, vintage colors, I guess. So we'll start with, oh, there we go. We'll start with the, that's natural. That one's frosted lime. Old gold. Uh, that's kind of a rosy color as a Victorian. And then my freebie was winter blue. Hang on. Sticky because that's where my my thank you was um, stuck to. Uh, but they're only $2.50 a piece. So um, you know, get you a few at a time. Add to your collection. These make great um, uh, tag toppers. Uh, at least that's how I use them. All right, because I have a hard time finding some ribbon. So, anyways, there you go. Uh, and then I purchased some. This is avocado dyed paper. I have coffee dyed paper, and uh, you know sometimes you want a little different shade in there. So let's pull this out real quick. Stick to the acetate um i love that little wax seal uh, so this came from uh cover to cover creations on Etsy. oh look i didn't even realize my paper clip was cute oh it's got my name <laughs> let's see probably can't see that in the light but it says susan oh my gosh how adorable and then a little doily with a little ticket. Thank you for your order. Susan, thank you so much for supporting my shop. I hope you love your dyed papers. And that's cover to cover creations. Uh, and I'll have her link below to her shop. But uh, I look forward to adding this to my journals. And I love that little homemade clip. Sweet. All right. Those are my Etsy purchases. I've got a couple more coming, but I'll put those in the next video. All right, so then I headed to a thrift store the other day. I had some extra time, and they had recently opened back up after remodeling. It looks nice in there. I didn't go before, but we have a local YouTuber who thrifts, so I've seen the inside previously through her videos, um, but they support, uh, it's like a local charity. So. Um, Anyways, I went in there and see what they had. Uh, so they had a whole little basket of uh, these called knockouts. I've never heard of those. Uh, they look like little page uh, edgers, I guess, little punches. Uh, so I guess you could punch out paper or you could maybe punch the, the edge of your paper. Uh, I think those were 99 cents. They didn't have prices, so the girl just, oh, 99 cents. I was like, okay. Uh, then ended up in the stationery uh, department. I found some cards, and I love the cards. And of course, I love that it has envelopes. So this originally had ten sheets in it. So let's see how many are still in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So Somebody bought that in Maine and only used one. Uh, and I think that was 99 cents. I don't know what happened to the little sticker, but I'm pretty sure it was 99 cents. All right. And then they also have this. These are Williamsburg uh, cards. And these actually open from the side. And uh, I love the sketches. Uh, or what are these, like watercolors? Uh, I used to live not too 
think we're like two hours south of there. And uh, beautiful at Christmas time when you go to Grand Illumination. Has anybody else ever been to Williamsburg uh, during Grand Illumination? Uh, it's very cold usually, but it's beautiful. All right, and then they have this little pack of these big index cards. I don't even know how many are in there. It was 50 cents, so let's see how many. But these are kind of hard to find. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All right, so now I have seven. What are these? Five by eight cards. Do they still make those? I don't know. Those would make great journal cards. You can collage on one side, write on the other. All right, then I checked out their, um, hang on, let me get to this because as we're talking stationary. Uh, nine, nine cents for this pack of, you know, those computer stationary back in the day. When we used to type and uh, send things. Um, I knew they were not all the same print. But I didn't open the store. My hands were full. I guess I could have gotten a cart. Uh, all right. Oh, blank paper. Yeah, I'll take it. That one's a little thicker. Um, but very patriotic. Maybe I'll share with some some of y'all if I ever make some packs. Because I got some things <clears throat> I'm willing to share. All right. And then I uh, got this little set of computer stationery envelopes. It was originally $7.99. I got it for $0.99. Cents. Um, Bird of Paradise plant and envelopes. Well, this was designed by United States Postal Service. Anyway, so I make great pages in a journal. And then, of course, you can use those envelopes, um, you know, to um, add some fun ideas to your journals. All right, then over in the book section, they re really didn't have like prices. They had, well, they had like a little sign, like hardback, but then they had special books. Some of them had prices and some didn't. Like they had the Reader's Digest books um, sitting on the top of the shelf, you know, nice and neat and little bookends. And I thought those were probably more expensive. They were a little busy, so I didn't ask. I'll maybe ask them another day. But I found this uh, World Atlas. Uh, so I think I'm set with maps now. Um, so those are all the states there. And um, I think that we've got some maps in here. I mean, not maps, flags. That's fun, too. There's all your countries and other other types of maps. So I think I'm set with maps for now. I say that about everything and then I find something else. Oh. Don't be surprised if I find another one. All right. Uh, and if you're not new here, uh, I am from Texas and uh, I was, live in Texas. So I found this uh, old Texas state travel guide from um, the Texas Department of Transportation. Uh, and so it's got lots of fun pictures in here and talks about different places. Uh, so I thought those would be neat uh, for my collages when I need a picture of, a, say, an oil derrick <laughs> or a boat or a rafting or a tank or wildlife or old buildings or a house. Um, anyways, so I was excited to get that. I want to say these were like a soft for $1.99 maybe. They had like a big box of music, and uh, by this time my arms were full, so I just kind of dig in with one hand, and I pulled this one out. It's just uh, some piano uh, music. I like this one because uh, there's not a lot of space uh, between uh, each section there, each line. Like some of them that I had, you got a big gap, so that's a lot of white space in there. And when you're tearing music. Um, sometimes you want it like text, you want it all kind of close together. All right, so there's that. And 
I think I'm set on music as well. All right. Um, so that was the map book. So that's it for this haul. Like I said, I have a couple. Oops, suck on that sticky part. So I have a couple more things coming from Etsy that I'll just share in the next video. Uh, I'm sure I'll be stopping by a thrift store between now and then. Um, see if I can find a few things. Um, but what are your favorite things to look for when you go to the thrift store? Or what do you look for on Etsy? Or what are you um, looking forward to finding uh, next for your journals? All right. Um, let me put my little paper clip back up here. That's cute. All right, everyone. I appreciate your time. Um, welcome to my new subscribers. I uh, appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, and until the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.